My name is Mark Abadi, for those of you who are new to me. We're going to talk about the scientific basis of energy medicine. This is based a lot on a book by a guy called James Oshman. References will be at the end. You'll see a lot of the work. Next slide. Please, Medica. So, uh, just a uh, bit to mention again, the, the people who have supplied the machine that I'm here scanning people's energy systems with are called the Centre for Biofield Sciences. They do a lot of energy research. Um, they've got a few aims. is to create um, energy field assessment technologies to help triangulate an individual's trajectory, i.e. where they're going health-wise, so before they get there. Try and prevent, uh, predict and thus prevent where they're going uh, ill health-wise. Uh, engaging in research on quantum and subtle energy medicine equipment and, uh, and techniques. And to deliver training courses around the world. Support the development of quantum and subtle energy medicine techniques as well. Next slide. Okay, so, again, another introduction. The energy fields. People who have been here for the last couple of nights have seen these slides. The energy system around the body has been depicted throughout time in all the different cultures. Uh, this is a gent who's got uh, 40,000 volts pumped through his body. And there's a noticeable glow. There's actually a photograph. A noticeable glow taken in as early as 1917. So the glow was an electromagnetic um, response, like the curling effect. Okay, next slide. So these are Alex Gray's images. Again, we've seen these. Um, the different systems of the body. Next slide. And the muscular. And then we go on to the chakra system. This is the Vedic, or the Indian understanding, that there are energy moving in and out of the body through these different nodes, these chakra points in the body. Uh, and then we can see that as he goes one step further and he splits us into the field where we blend into the background. So there's actually no end to our body. And we're going to actually talk about the physics behind why there's no end to our body. Okay, next slide. So, in physics, energy is defined as the ability to do work. Sometimes you might feel like this. It's not actually what, where energy comes from. Energy comes from not just eating food, but from the cosmos, from absorbing and reflecting different frequencies and information. It's actually all about information, not about the energy that we consume. Next slide. So, this guy, Albert Sven Gorgi, actually uh, invented the synthesis of vitamin C, as well as a lot of other uh, uh, electrochemical uh, reactions. So he said that life is too rapid and subtle to be explained by slow-moving chemical reactions and nerve impulses. So what he's saying is the traditional biochemical uh, perspective, which is a neuron receives a neurotransmitter, sends a, a signal down the, the axis and then to another one and sends another neurotransmitter across. Life's too rapid to just be explained by that slow-moving chemical thing. Okay, so next slide. Just buzz through a few times, there's a few pictures that will come up. Um, three, in fact. So, the circulatory system is an excellent conductor of electricity. It's a fact. We conduct electricity excellently. According to Ampere's law, the flow of electricity through blood vessels and other fluid compartments of the body must create a magnetic field in the space around it. So, basically, what this is saying is any electrical flow any current that has an electrical flow to it will create a magnetic field as a result. The magnetic field comes off. Now, uh, just hit it again. There's three, as in that one. So this is through the, the uh, muscular system. Okay, in the field, and the heart, and the circulatory system. Next slide. Okay, so in 1963, Ball and McPhee at this university measured the magnetic fields of the heart. And this is pretty difficult with two million coil, two million turn coils. Um, and they found that the heart field is about one millionth that of the Earth's field. That frequency of 7.8, human resonance. Frequency of the Earth, same as the heart. Next slide, please. So, here we go, old Brian. Brian invented the Josephson junction. Being Josephson is there, suggested that electrons can tunnel through an insulating barrier. Basically, what he's showing is that electrons not only can pass from one thing to the other, but they tunnel through space and time. They move from one place to the other place instantly. Like that. Instantly.